Okay, hi guys, this is Mr. Rogers, and I'm going to show you today how to use Google Sites as a presentation for your project today. As you can see, I've got a web page open right now. For those of you that haven't found all the information on your cities, this website is going to be really helpful to you. It's called citytowninfo.com. If you, if you type in on Google citytowninfo.com and then press a space and put the, the name of your city, you will find a big site just like this that has all kinds of information about your city. I'm choosing Pecos, Texas because it wasn't a major city and it will be a good one to model for all of my students. Okay, so I've got my city information here. Now I need to go to Google. When I go to Google, I'm going to type in new Google sites. I don't want to press old, the just regular Google sites because the old one is not as easy to use. The first hit is new Google sites. And so I click on it. As I click on it, it'll open up a bunch of different sites that I've already created. But you guys, it'll be blank because you haven't created a Google site yet. To make a new Google site, you just click on the red plus button. This is such an easy way to create a presentation because it's simple and it doesn't have a lot of options. Now, many of you might be thinking, oh, no options. That's not going to be as cool. Actually, it's awesome because it gets the job done and it makes it look awesome if you do it the right way. Okay. If you notice, this is what your website is going to look like. However, if you don't like this theme, you can click over here on the right hand side where it says themes and it gives you options. You can choose simple, which is what it's on, Aristotle or diplomat or vision, level or impression. Okay. I like the vision one because I like blue. So I'm just going to click that one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type the name of my city, Pecos, Texas. Oops, I need a comma. Okay. Now that made it just a little too big, so I'm just going to widen this a little bit so that it all fits on one page. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. I want it centered, so we're all good. Now, that's the title of my page. However, I need a title for the site, so I'm going to put... Mr. Rogers Pecos site. Now, as soon as I finish typing that in on this little title screen, it's going to make this untitled site change to that title. Watch. Ta-da! Automatically does it. Now, I want to start inputting data. The first thing that I was supposed to re research was regions. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to either Go over here to the little button over here on the side that says insert and insert a text box. Or if you look right here, I can just double click below the title screen right here. And it gives me this little circle that lets me insert an image or text information. The other stuff we'll talk about another time. I'm going to press text. I'm going to type in region. Okay. But that's way too small to read, so I'm going to change that to a title heading. I'm also going to center it. And now it's much easier to see, right? Super easy to see. So I click on this. Sometimes you can change that. I can change it to a light gray, or I can change it to a dark gray. I kind of like the light gray, so I'm going to just put that right there. And now I'm going to start putting in information. Now. The first thing I probably want to do is I want to put uh, probably a map, right? So I don't actually need text. So I clicked on this and I made this text thing, but I don't want it. Well, the way to get rid of it is on the left-hand side, there's a little delete section. So you just delete it. I double click again. I press image and I'm, I'm going to type in Google search uh, regions in Texas. Okay, and here are the regions of Texas. Now this regions map is a little different than what we have normally. That's okay. You know the regions that we've been talking about. You know that this area right over here is the mountains and basins region. And I know that Pecos is located in that region. And so I'm just gonna have the picture here and I'm gonna add some text right beside it. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna change the normal text to like a bigger one, like a heading. And I'm gonna say, Pecos, 
Texas is located in the mountains and basins region of Texas, period. Now, there's other information that I can add here. So I could add another text box right below it. Right now, I'm not going to put more information because I want to show you how to move to another section. So now, I move to the next section. There's nothing down here. Don't see down here at the bottom. It says add footer. Don't do that. It's, it's just not helpful. It puts it on the whole site. It's not a good thing. So if you just go right below the line, I'm going to put population. Oops, spelled it wrong. There we go. I'm going to change it again to a title. I'm going to center it. And maybe I like, uh, maybe I want to go back to the gray again. And what, what I like about that is, do you see how it just kind of shows with the gray, it kind of separates each of the pages on the website. So it makes it just really easy to use. I come back down here. I open up my Pecos City thing here. And it says that the population is 9,275. So I'm just going to copy that by pressing Control C. And I'm going to put population, whoa, population, population, paste. I don't like the, I don't like the font, so I'm going to press Control Shift Paste. There we go. All right. So now I've got that information. Now, is that all I want to put in there? Probably not. So I'm going to shorten my box. And you see these little lines here? It kind of helps you know where you need to stop it. And so I just let go right here, and that's the end of my box. Now I can start putting in more information. Maybe I want to know, um, uh, let's see, the average age of the population. So the average age for Pecos County is 34 years old. So people are on average 34 years old, okay? And I can keep putting information there. And once I'm ready for my next segment, I just click on that and I type in precipitation. And you just keep changing things and adding things until you've got a solid, totally done website. What I like about this is, guys, when I create my website, I can actually post this on the web so that other people who are looking up information about Pecos, Texas, they can find my website and they can use that as information on their research. So we're not kind of a Wikipedia page, but we're putting in good information that people can use as research. We're not going to start publishing right away. You'll share the document with me when you're finished to show me the finalized project. And it's going to look something like this only with a whole lot more information. Have fun with it, play with it. Don't spend time changing backgrounds and things until you've got all your data down. All right, I hope this is good enough for you to understand how to use Google Sites as a tool. I'll be back with you to give you more specifics later. Have fun.